Hey everybody, Syntax77 here on this lovely Thursday and I am in the mood to talk some gear. So I broke out a piece of gear. What is it? This here, the Renovo Trio water filter. Now, those of you who stuck with the channel for a little while so far may remember me originally doing a video on this said water filter. It was actually a couple seasons ago that I was sent this and I did an original tabletop video uh, wouldn't call it a review, but an initial impressions and kind of spec sheet video, tabletop style on this. So if you want to check that out to get my first thoughts and see that as well as some more info on the specs and whatnot, feel free to check that out. Since then, I never did an official review on this, but I did actually take it out. If uh, any of you saw the Linville Gorge video that Mike and I did. Linville Gorge, Pisgah National Forest, North Carolina. Ten and a half hour drive. You only forgot one item. I'm pretty upset with myself. I realized I didn't bring my... We went down to North Carolina in the Linville Gorge. I took the trio and Mike took the original Sawyer Squeeze. And we kind of did a head to head in within that video. So if you haven't already seen that video and you're interested, feel free to check that out. It's a fun full length backpacking video anyway, but within it we do test out and kind of show off our thoughts on both systems compared. Never did an original or I should say a full uh, review video on it because what kind of happened was I did those two videos and then I'll be honest, haven't really, and it's not a bad filter, I'll get into it, haven't really um, had this in my kit much since and that's because I have some other options. Like I said, we'll get into that. But also what happened was when it got to the point where I said I should finally do a uh, final thoughts video on the trio because people were asking, I started looking around on the website, looking at my own links I had in my video before and they were dead. It seemed to me, unless I was losing my mind, which does seem to happen quarterly, that the Renovo trio kind of disappeared. And I started thinking, oh, I wonder if they went away and then I could have sworn that I found something similar, not the knockoff version of this, the Survivor, that's a whole nother story. It looks very similar to this, but it looked like Renovo was doing some sort of modular system instead. And I thought that might kind of make sense based on what I'm going to point out in a moment. Um, but I never did a review because I figured people couldn't get them. Well, lo and behold, I went to check today and uh, they're back on Amazon. Their website's back up, although it's completely different now. Um, they have this as well as two other types of systems, uh, one of which has a Kickstarter, but we won't get into all that. Either way, long story short, this is available again, so I figure I'll talk about it. And just last night, I got somebody asking me whatever happened to the Renova Trio. So here we go. Let's talk about it, right? Why did I not continue using this filter that much? There's nothing wrong with it. As seen in those other videos, it does just about everything, actually it definitely does everything that the Sawyer does, and more. Yes, it's true. This is a more capable filter than the Sawyer Squeeze. Question is, do you need that for typical backpacking? First, let's talk about what the Sawyer does, um, because it's just, a, this is the de facto, at least for me and a lot of backpackers, water filter. There's also the Sawyer Mini, but I no longer use that. I find it worth the extra ounce to carry this. Um, because of the higher flow rate and less need to um, uh, clean it out when it gets filled up. But anyway, this is a hollow membrane filter. Okay, it goes down to 0.1, it's written right on the label there, 0.1 microns, which takes care of just about, or definitely takes care of all bacteria. Doesn't do viruses, but that's okay. And uh, works really well. Now, the trio right here does the same thing, plus two other stages. So let's get into that. Up here at the tip, this is the hollow membrane filter. So right here, I can actually take this apart. Boom, separated. Cap is off, body we'll get to in a minute. And there's the tip with the hollow membrane filter in it. That is the same function as the Sawyer, this little tip here, okay? So there's your 0.1 microns in either one of these. So you might be asking, what's with the rest of the body? What's going on there? Well, here's the two other stages in addition to what the Sawyer does with the hollow membrane. Right here, I'm twisting this off. Pre-filter, not super high tech, but pretty interesting and cool. It's basically just a little coffee filter from what I can tell, you could get away with doing that. But when you initially buy the Renovo Trio, it does come with a pack of those. So you have that initial filter just to get the grit out and junk to keep that from hitting your filter, which is why I have to back flush this baby 
quite often, unless you just pour it through a coffee filter or a t-shirt while you're in the field. So there's an advantage built right in is the filter disc there. And this, the biggest part of the Renovo Trio filter body is the carbon filter. This is a big advantage, not necessarily needed, but it is a definite advantage over the Sawyer Squeeze. So what this will do is it'll take out heavy metals and it'll take out some chemicals. So we're talking heavy metals like lead, mercury, and cadmium, as well as organic chemicals like uh, pesticides, chlorine, things of that nature. Another advantage of the Renovo Trio, this membrane filter, instead of going down to 0.1, like the Sawyer, goes down to 0.05, which, and they're right in saying this, would filter out some, I emphasize some, viruses. Now, that would be another advantage. But let's get into why I end up just bringing the old Sawyer, which gets all the bacteria, cysts, and protozoa. Those are the things in North America, at least, and most places backpacking, that you need to worry about. Viruses? All right, let's get into that. Uh, viruses. At 0.05, you definitely have an advantage, and yes, some viruses are getting filtered out. But when I look into it, it's true that some viruses go up to as big as 0.1, that's a tenth of a micron. By the way, if you're wondering how big a micron is, it's small. For instance, a single or a piece of hair, the width of a strand of hair, human hair, is 75 microns, which means one micron is pretty small and a tenth of a micron super small. So anyway, there are some viruses that go as big as a tenth of a micron, but they can also go as small as 0.004, that's four one thousandths of a micron. And from what I could see, most viruses seem to be under that 0.5. So I don't know that it really matters that much. Now, if you're going into a situation where there might be viruses, feel free to Google what those viruses um, sizes are, and perhaps they will get caught by the membrane filter on the Renovo. Basically with the viruses, I'd say if you're worried about that, better off just boiling the heck out of your water. Just boil it. Uh, and then you're gonna get all those viruses. Personally, I'm not worried about viruses. I'm just worried about those uh, bacteria like E. coli, salmonella, which both of these filters get out, as well as uh, like cholera, stuff like that. And Giardia, which is actually a protozoa, the most common thing you're trying to get out of the water. And that is up to, oh my God, protozoas are like what, two to five microns? They're huge compared to what these filters can do. So they're easily gonna come out. Now, the other thing that is an advantage um, is that carbon filter, but do I need that safety wise? No, where I'm camping and uh, backpacking, there are not problems with heavy metals, pesticides in the water, at least yet in the areas that I go to. Now, perhaps maybe your situation is different. Um, you're in, well, this brings us to the advantage of this filter, not necessarily backpacking, but maybe a survival situation. Keep this guy tucked away in your house, you know, for that rainy day zombie invasion when infrastructure just collapses. Uh, you could use this to break it open and start filtering some more urban type water, farm pesticides, things like that. Now I will say one situation in backpacking where it's not necessarily a safety reason, but a uh, creature comfort reason. If you're going somewhere where you expect stagnant water, you know, like uh, just scuzzy kind of water that would probably, even after running through a filter for bacteria safety, would have kind of an off taste to it. Well, an advantage of carbon filters beyond safety is that they make stuff water tastes better, right? That's why people have Brita filters. So consider this like a Brita filter attached to your Sawyer Squeeze. So if you're going somewhere that you know has some nasty taste to it, maybe because of different metals, iron, sulfur, stagnant water, like I said, then I would bring this along. But so far I haven't had somewhere where I really felt the need to do that taste-wise. Most of the water I'm drinking tastes pretty good, even straight out of the ground. Now let's get into the straight up function of the Renovo Trio. When you take it out there in the field, what are you gonna be doing in order to use it? Well, it's got a little cap to protect the tip, but that tip is a bit of a downside for me. And another reason that I usually bring the trusty Sawyer Squeeze. Sorry, Renovo, but I like to do an inline filter. Now see how that has that tip there that I can hook tubing up to just by plugging it on there right there. All right, that is on the Renovo Trio on one side, on the dirty water side. So you could, as illustrated in their instruction booklet, uh, hooked this up to a gravity bag, but on the other end, it's just gonna have to, I guess, lay there or hang there and just drip freely. 
I like it more where I can have a tube on the clean water end as well, like the Sawyer here, and I'm fully enclosed. No other contaminants or spill factor comes into play as it filters into that other container. The Trio, on the other hand, I see what they're going for here. It's uh, you can drink directly out of it, right? I get that, but most of the time, and this is me personally, I'm not doing that. Now for you, maybe going back to keeping this around as a survivor filter, you might just want to have carry around a single water bottle, no fancy gravity system. You're just on the go. This is in your pack. Uh, the world is melting and you're on the run. You pull this guy out, pop it onto a standard 28 millimeter threaded bottle, right? I find it works with these large bottles just fine. And uh, look, Certainly makes me look kind of silly on film, but you get the point. You can drink right out of the bottle. Squeeze right into your pot for cooking. You get the point. You can get the job done just fine by hooking up to a water bottle. But again, me personally, I like the ability to use tubing, which I hook up to my Sawyer and then to, in my case, it's another Sawyer bag that I've clearly labeled as clean. So careful with that and I'm good to go. But that's just me. If you're not worried about gravity systems where all the tubing connects, then don't worry about it. But another thing that does kind of bug me is back flushing. Now, on a Sawyer system, either one, mini or original, you can back flush it using the syringe that comes with it. Plugs right into the uh, tip there, force water through it backwards, and you will presumably, and it works, blow out all of the uh, sediments and stuff that get stuck in there. With the Renovo Trio, because of that drinking tip, uh, I don't really see a way to do that as easily. Yes, you could, I guess, blow through it, uh, but again, we want a flow of water coming through that, i.e. a couple loads of the syringe, or just hook up your clean water bag via tube and run it backwards. That works from what I found as well on the Sawyer. This brings me to a good point as well with this Sawyer bag. If you already have some Sawyer bags laying around, you might think, great, I can use them with my Renovo. Unfortunately not. As you can see there, it is slightly crooked. Could come out of here, drip down, and then ultimately contaminate your clean water. So don't worry about using these Sawyer bags if you already have them. What does work, like I already mentioned, large water bottles, although to point out, will not work with smaller ones. So experiment before you go in the field. But what it will work with bladder wise is, from my testing, a platypus water bag water bladder seals right on there you can see it is nice and straight and you're good to go so use platypus bags if you're going to go with the trio and you'll be in good shape another thing that i have to mention it comes up a lot on my previous videos that people knock the renovo trio for and i have to defend them in this instance uh they will say and i think this is kind of some marketing that they might be able to uh improve on their end they point out that it does a thousand liter capacity for the filter. That is not for the hollow membrane section of the filter, which as we pointed out on a Sawyer system is the entire filter. What they're referring to for the thousand liter life is the carbon filter body. The carbon filter is good from what they say. Once you open it, you have a year to use that before that filter is no longer good according to Renovo and also a thousand liters at which point for 10 bucks from what i can see on amazon or elsewhere ten dollars you can buy another carbon filter tube you're back in business for another thousand liters what if you go beyond those thousand liters well your hollow membrane filter is still going strong just as much i would imagine as a sawyer system and look the numbers on that are all over the place whatever you want to believe they'll tell you anywhere from 250,000 gallons to a million gallons who knows it's a lot of gallons. Either way, you can continue to use this uh, for a lot longer than a thousand liters. All right, so just had to clear that up. Now, that being said, if you don't care about the carbon, which I usually don't, and um, you pre-filter through something else, you can notice that this is a little big, and in my case, was a little big, so that's why I went with uh, carrying this most of the time. Now, this is three and a half ounces. This is two and a half, so I did save an ounce there. This is one and a half, but I don't use the mini anymore for the reasons I said about flow rate. But I just want to point out, no, I don't personally use the Renovo all the time. First thing I grab is not this, but it's not because it's a bad filter. If I didn't have this Sawyer squeeze, I would be sitting here telling you about all the trips I've done with the Renovo. It's just for my personal use and needs backpacking in clean-ish tasting water environments. The Sawyer squeeze is fine. 
But if you just want to buy one filter and you want it to do more under different situations and you haven't already bought another filter, you might want to look into the Renovo Trio because it's definitely got some extra capabilities depending on your demographic and mode of use intended. That's about all I have to say about that. Thanks for joining me on this little foray into water filtration. Till next time, I'm Syntax77. Have fun out there. <laughs>